Yo, 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 what up, YouTube X? This is your boy Daddy Easy here. I'm not gonna go into an intro because that's gonna take about a good minute, and I wanna just get to this thing real quick. So, I am very, very uh, curious of how the inside of this PlayStation 4 controller looks. What I wanna do is take apart this, I wanna transfer this blue top to over here and keep this over there. So, I don't wanna cut the rest of the parts over here, I just wanna take apart this take those parts out but leave everything else out which the bottom part is really nothing but just the butt part so let's power this thing down uh i got my playstation 4 on and what i'm gonna do is just turn off the device do shot 4 and this is completely off now so let's see <clears throat> what's inside this PS4 controller. So hopefully I have the right screwdriver. Is it the right one? I think that's no. Nope, it's not the right one. I need the fatter one. And let's see, maybe this one. There we go. So I already know how where each screw goes at. Let's throw that right there. This is the moment of truth. <clears throat> I still got a cold guy. Sorry about that. Now my hands is going to get ashy from doing this damn thing. I'm gonna tell you that from the get-go. So don't leave no comments saying, nigga, your hands is actually nigga, I know that. That's what happens when you do a lot of work dealing with your hands. Okay. Let me just get some of this real quick. reason why I'm using rubbing alcohol because I don't like touching the motherboards really with greasy hands or sticky hands whatever like that so this is only 50% alcohol so get some of that oil and grease and stuff off my hands with that rubbing alcohol okay so we're gonna just pop it right there but again, wait for that popping sound. Come on. There we go. Just busted its cherry. <laughs> there we go. No, nothing is wrong with it. Okay. Let's look at this. Wow. Everything on this thing is actually way different. Everything on this thing is different. Wow. I'm looking at this thing, guys. This thing is different. The ribbon. Yeah, the motherboard, everything on this thing is different. Yeah, everything on this thing is way different. Let me turn this on real quick. Yeah, everything on this thing is it's different everything on this thing is really really different on here yeah everything on this thing is real different guys so let me shut this thing now Yeah, this 
everything on this thing is real, real different. Let's get rid of this ribbon. And I actually broke something on it, as you can see right here, which is this right there. Actually, no, I didn't break it. I'm kind of looking at it right now. Yeah, everything on this thing is different. The whole controller piece to this is way, way, way different on here. Let's get this power piece off. So I'm just looking at this real quick, guys. Yeah, everything in this thing is way different besides this. I can actually fix this with crazy glue, so that's not a biggie for me. Only thing this piece does just look like it just goes down into the bottom part. Yeah, it just looks like it just goes down into the bottom um, to reflect the LED right here, which is right there, the bar, to give it more illumination. Um, but I want to go deeper inside this thing. Yeah, the actually the ribbon thing is actually to the side like this, right there. I'm gonna go deep in this controller real quick. I'm like real curious about this thing. Ribbon is different. There we go. Says I'm looking at this thing. I don't know, the insides look very, very different. Yeah, this, the light bar is different. As you can actually see inside here. This is different. Inside here, it looks very different. So a little bit um, advice, guys, to take this part off is different compared to the way how you take this one off because the LED strip at top, um, you know, I'm just looking at some of these things right now, and this is just this right here, which has a whole different ribbon, so, um, Yeah, everything to this thing is way different, guys. So, um... I don't know. The triggers and the spring is different. These actually have guards on it now. Okay. Yeah, this is different compared to was it. So I'm just gonna move a lot of this stuff to the side real quick. Throw this over here. I wanna compare something real quick while this is on recording. So let's just take off my analog sticks. So I just told you guys, showed you guys.
Like I said, that plastic I can fix with no problem. A little bit of crazy glue will fix that. And I just turned on my PlayStation shit. My other PlayStation, so. Let's just try to get this popped off. Okay. Yeah, the ribbon on this one goes the opposite way. What I was saying, what was different is, it's the piece right here. So the glass piece is actually longer on it, so it can come up on it. So that's the difference on this one. That glass that I, piece that I broke off, I'm gonna say it again, can be replaced with no problem. Um, let's take this battery out real quick. This one off. The ribbon. Down, put it down. hands are starting to get ashy now go so this is what I basically wanted to see the difference of how these look inside let's pop this out okay so it's really no difference towards it um I'm just looking at everything real fast I am noticing really nothing. I'm just trying to see if I was to take this and pop it in here, what would happen. So this is this. Let's take this one. Put it over here real quick. Cause this look like it's kind of small. Yeah, they look, there's a difference in it. There's a big difference in it. So basically what the difference is, is this right here. So I can't push it down. I can't push it down at all. Yeah, this is different. So me trying to change the body to this, it's a no-go. If I push down it, I have a problem that I might snap it. Yeah. So I'll have to keep the same body. So basically, all I have to do is wait for an update for colors or a mod for the second versions right here to come out. I'm looking at this thing right now, like this. Oh no, guys. So, only thing I can do is just exchange the buttons on it. I have to keep the same board, everything on here, so. Let's do that right now. Just pop out the buttons. Pop out the buttons. And move this over here.
one thing that I needed to do was flip this around that way get that that way take this one flip it around this way okay so we're gonna put this back up here I'm gonna leave that alone and we're gonna flip some things around real fast this goes over here So what I'm gonna do is go to the store tomorrow, go buy some super glue, crazy glue, glue that piece back on, which is no problem, easy fix. So here's the new board right here. That's that right there. And okay. Need to follow just the right body. Okay, this is that one. This is this one. Goes over here. That's the bottom part. That's that part. This is this part. Okay. Flip this around. Yeah, they made this shit real thick. Try to get that loop inside there. They made it so you can't get that ribbon inside. Alright guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the video real quick and I'm going to come back once I get that ribbon inside because it's already like 14 gigabytes now. I'm going to stop it and I'm going to come right back once I get it inside. Okay guys, I am back on a little break. Um, I just wound up putting the ribbon back inside, which putting the ribbon in was no problem. Put the battery pack basically inside. So basically, you know, the piece that it was broken off, I actually was able to get to the location and... Uh, basically put it back in place that it look like nothing is actually happening at all um, give me a second just put some rubbing alcohol on my hands because there's still some parts I touch and on my break I started touching other things and I don't like to get oil and stuff like that on my motherboards any ribbons and stuff that I may touch so um, yeah so the last part is actually put in this now this part when you get to it be careful when you open it. So basically, you can't pop it out like you would do with your original um, controller. Like how I did this blue one that I just popped it. Because it's actually glass right here. So basically, what you have to do is when you get it, you have to pry it from the top. Then pry it around before you actually take it out. Um, this glass, I could probably find it on eBay for probably like 2 or $3. Um, that's what I probably might do is just buy a replacement glass. And that's about it. You know, so putting the case back together, it's fairly simple. This time, the blue ribbon is pointing in the inside instead of the outside. Um, this is the part I normally have problems with. Just trying to hold this piece together and put the ribbon in. So I'm going to be off camera for a second. Hopefully, I can do this on camera. Make sure I line it up right. There we go. Let's make sure that glass stays inside there. And line everything up. There we go. Looking for the LED lights. Okay, light bar still working as you can see is on there. It's actually a right now it's just a white right now. Okay, light bar still working. I'm 
just doing that. I just did that for a second. Guys, there's nothing wrong. It's just I'm messing with the stuff right now. I'm trying to see if there's any difference towards it. No, light bar is still the same. There's no difference. As you can see on camera, even though I broke it, it's still working perfectly. There's no difference towards this. Um, what I can do is to double check this to make sure the colors is right. Um, before I put the screws, anything back inside, as you can see right there, what I want to do is, I need some alcohol for this. So what I'm going to do is, um, on my PC, uh, I need to get my USB cord, so hold on a second guys. Okay. Got my USB cord for my PC. And what I want to do is I want to just change some of the colors real quick. So bear with me for a second. Um, I need to run a program real quick. Because basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my color setup. And so basically what I'm using is DS4 Windows. And what I'm looking to do is change the profile colors. So um, settings, uh, the controller, okay, auto, profiles, edit. So let me knock this off of my console real quick. Okay, it's disconnected. Okay, there we go. So while that's right there, guys, <clears throat> I'm going to change some things up. Settings, log, start. Okay. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just doing something real quick. Okay. So bear with me for a second, guys. Just switch it over real quick. Guys, give me a second while I deal with this real fast, and I'll be back with you guys in a second. All right, guys, I am back. Um, for some reason, DS4 or Windows is not working with these new controllers. Um, and basically, what I did is I just took this out of there just to basically see what's going to happen. And to tell you the truth, it's way brighter using when you take this piece out I mean it looks way different I mean it's even brighter to the look on it but I have direct light actually on this thing I don't know
I don't know, guys. I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop it back inside. See if I see any difference towards it. Drop this piece directly back inside where it was located at. Which is only right there. And I'm just gonna put it back one in like that. Tell you the truth, with that piece on, it looks real dull. I'm actually not liking that piece in there. Yeah, I actually don't like that piece in there. Because it makes everything real dim. So, um... Yeah, but I'm just leaving for now. See how it is. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Do something real quick. I'm going to plug this back into my PlayStation 4. Change up some colors on here real quick. So what I'm gonna do is um Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this. Okay, this is the PS4 right here. So it's on. That's rocking the PS4 right now. So I'm gonna pop this in. Change that to a red one. Yeah, I'm not liking that. It seems more brighter when I have this piece actually out. And with that little window inside of it. It just doesn't look right. I'm thinking about just taking that piece out and just like have it. Because basically what that piece does, it makes it look like only that section right there is bright and the rest of it dims. As you can see, more like a Knight Rider effect like that. <laughs> but yeah, guys. um, I'm not liking that. I really don't like that glass now. I'm about to just like permanently take it out. Um Yeah, I'm about to just permanently take it out guys. But that's it right there. I'm gonna put the rest of the screws on and that's the rest to this video. Actually this way, that way. Like that. So I will catch you guys later. Peace, deuces and one. Holla. Alright guys, I am back. Um, as you can see right here, here's my controller. I put it back together. But I actually don't like the strip that's inside of it. And I'm going to basically explain to you guys in a second why I don't like it inside there. So here it is with the strip inside of it. Um, it's like real bright right here. And then right here on the camera, you really can't tell. If I turn it to the side, you'll be able to see that it's real dim. So it does have that type of effect. So I'm playing Infamous First Light. Um, I believe that's the name of it. Yeah, infamous first light. So I'm gonna do is I'ma just as you can see what just happened right there. You see it was pink. Now I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Like that. So when you're playing, you're normally like this. And um you get like this effect like this, as you can see as I'm running. But when you turn it this way, you really can't see the colors at all. Like this. As you can see right here, you can see the colors right there. Everything that's happening. Even when you're playing games that does use the um, light bar and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the um, glass out. So I'm just going to remove this. The piece that I actually broke out. You're going to see the reason why I said that I like it. Because right now it looks dim. It's like real bright. Like only right here on the sides is like them. On camera you can't tell. But if I put it this way, you see exactly what I'm talking about. How it's bright in the middle, but on the sides is them. 
only way you can see it is if you put it all the way like that. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to just pop this open one more time. There we go. And I'm just going to remove that glass piece that was in there. Put it back inside as so. Okay, and there we go right there. Let's put the buttons back on here real quick. There we go. Just gonna beat some enemies up real fast. And as you can see, it's real bright. You, you actually can see how bright that is in the middle now. So if I run, You see how it's 10 times brighter. And this is basically the piece that broke out, um, broke off. And to tell you the truth, I like it more better this way. As you can see when I turn it left and right, you can see how bright it is inside the middle. I'm actually liking that. Because inside the dark, when I'm playing like this, when I'm playing like this, and I'm looking, and I look at my controller real quick, I can actually see what's happening and it's real bright and I'm actually liking that it's outside of the controller that it's broken off so if I put it this way you can actually see what's going on yeah I was able to see all that let's go to an LED light real quick let's absorb that I'm actually loving this. So, um, I'm gonna explain to you guys why I actually like it this way. Let's leave this here. So, basically what's happened is the piece that broke off was this. The piece that basically broke off was this. And as you can see on camera, that when the light comes through it comes through here and it blocks off right there around those edges so when you look at it that's basically what you're seeing as you can see from the bar when i put the um strip on where the brightness of the light is you can actually just see only one part of it so if i put it directly like this into the light you notice how everything else is just basically dimmed you know, it's not giving off a lot of light on top of that. On camera, it does. But when you look at it, it's not really giving off really anything. And basically like this, you notice when you looked at the um video earlier, you seen how it's like dimmed down inside of it. When I turned it to the side like this, that it was real dark. When I turned it this way, you can still see it's real bright. And even when I turn it, it's giving off more brightness. When I turn it down... You're getting a lot of brightness even towards the sides and stuff like that all like that I'm actually like I like it like this better that the light right here is actually flashing through more um that's something that I do like so um if you are going to do my method and you want to break this part um try to break it on a more even note as you can see right here, it broke. It's not that bad of a break, but it's uneven. Which I can always uh, crazy glue or super glue it back. No problem, so I can just throw it back inside the thing. Um, now, the reason why I took apart the controller was the simple fact was this. I didn't like the way how it was looking through the um, controller part. It was dim, very, very dim. And I was, like I said at the beginning of the video, I was curious to see exactly how this looked. And come to find out, it has this white part on it. The white part is supposed to actually give it more light towards the whiteness. But it's actually just really dim on it. And that's why I wasn't liking it really at all. But um, 
I like it this way, so I'm gonna probably just keep this out of my controller for now on. I don't even think I'm gonna crazy glue it back or super glue it. I like it this way because it's really bright. And um yeah, it's no need to put this back in there to tell you the truth. Cause I like it the way how it is. So that being said, I will catch you guys later. Peace, deuces and one. Mouse click. <laughs>